Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, Serving Nerve, where we talk about beating our meat, uh, creating the incomplete, uh, you know, depleting the system uh, of, of future children. Today we're going to be talking about jacking it, alright? And the reason I kind of want to talk about this is because recently I've been running into, and in spite of not being particularly, like, religious, I've been running into a lot of Christian content recently. And, you know, some of it's been lovely, some of it's been very interesting, it's very cool seeing, like, CGI-generated images of accurate portrayals of angels, and uh, hearing people's, like, you know, perspective of God and stuff like that. But there's this one topic that I've been running into that I feel a little bit torn about, and torn even before running into the religious content about, and that is jacking it. And I have to be a little bit careful when I say that, because usually every video that I make has some sort of little squabble with YouTube's, uh... YouTube's, uh, you know, automated system. So we're gonna be a little bit careful about how we how we say that, especially in the first couple minutes of this video. Uh, and also, funny story, there's this one video, the TWED video that I made, talking, uh, like, months ago. It's been removed again, and then appealed again, and then approved for appeal again. So my videos, sometimes I'll make some naughty videos, and YouTube really just doesn't know how to deal with them. But today I want to talk about, you know, is it good or is it bad to jack it? This is coming from somebody who never scores, like, you know, so it's a great opportunity for me to talk about it, because I've got those incel gains. So today, I kind of want to go into this video, but I also kind of want to explain my position. Like, I do not think that it is a great idea to constantly be beating your meat. I feel like beating your meat is pretty normal and everybody does it, but also people can suffer from like addictions to it or find that that's all they want to do is like, you know, watch stuff online and beat themselves off until they eventually, you know, have no sense of self anymore. I don't know. I feel like also though, growing up on the internet, there's so much weird, gross, kinked up stuff online. So usually when somebody's jacking it, they're not just jacking it in general to like, you know, the idea of a woman or a man or anything like that anymore. They're watching like the most degenerate crap possible to also screw up their perceptions of what a normal sexual interaction is. So in spite of me being like pretty chill and not really caring if people do it or not, I feel like it can lead to people getting a little bit uh, weird in the head if they watch certain content when they're jacking it. Especially when going through puberty. I literally don't know anybody who doesn't have a really sick and twisted kinky perception of like what gets them off predominantly because of the things that they watched online when they were going through puberty. So yeah, that's another thing. But we're gonna go into this little video and just kind of like break this down and I'm just gonna give my opinion on what I think about, uh, about you know, jacking it. So but yeah, it's, that's my typical Thursday night. How are we doing today? Just talking about masturbation. What about you guys? Self-pleasure is amazing. It is healthy. It is normal. We should all be doing it. They are so many benefits from it. Hold up, wait a minute. Before we get into this guy's response, which is going to be a biblical response, we're going to be also talking about what that chick said. There's a threshold, in my opinion, where it goes from being good to being bad. I don't think everybody should do it, especially all the time. But I feel like also it's probably better, like, just jacking off than, like, getting somebody pregnant. So if you've got those two options, it's probably better. But at the same time also, you don't want to become like a little bedroom dweller and just jack it every day and then hide behind your computer screen. This is a problem that I have already. Like I feel like it's very zero to a hundred. It's either like sexual liberation and we should all do it all the time no matter what and it's super good for you and it releases endorphins so it's got to be good for you and you know, uh, watching inappropriate content online is totally fine as long as it's legal and whatever. And we go from there to being, no, masturbation is a sin and we should never do it and it's evil, it's a sin, and you shouldn't do it. So there's no balance. It's either zero to a hundred. It's either never do it ever because it's evil, or do it all the time because there's no evil in pleasure, or whatever. And they're I feel like they're both kind of wrong. I feel like it's better to abstain, in my opinion, than to do it constantly. But I am also biased because I don't really believe in the idea of just aimless pleasure with, like, no logic to such a pleasure. Like, no, no reason for the gratification, right? Instead of, like, going and, you know, performing your goals or meeting somebody and becoming successful in life or something like that. Instead, you just hide in your bedroom and, you know, you replace the idea of, like, your success or your pleasures in life with just pleasuring yourself. So I feel like I get it, but I just want to mention, I think I'm overcomplicating this. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. I just wanted to mention this because I feel like there's never like a balance where it's like, do it, but don't do it too much. 
kind of vibe, you know? Nobody ever says that. It's either don't ever do it or do it all the time because it's great. You can do it whenever you want. Self pleasure or masturbation present themselves as a convenient solution to sexual frustration or to the desire for sexual pleasure. But this is why I want to warn you against it. It goes in direct opposition to God's design for sexuality. Our sexuality was designed to be expressed in the covenant union of marriage. Therefore, man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. Sorry that I'm pausing this. I just don't want to get discombobulated with the Bible verses because I'm not particularly well versed with the Bible. But the one thing I have to mention is, you know, there is that outlet for sexual frustration being relieved through, uh, you know, self-pleasuring. So it makes sense as to why people would find that that is their outlet to do so. But that easily can make you go, well, I don't really want to find a girl because I can just be with myself, which I don't think many men think because there's obviously a difference there, but the idea is there. But I feel like it also would be better if you're younger not to get into like, not to get into relationships or be sexual with other people when you're young. So I feel like that's why people kind of like when they're hitting puberty, choose to go down the route of like, jack in it but then the other argument is not to just fornicate randomly it is to get married so at the end of the day you must be celibate and abstinent in every capacity until marriage so again i don't know how realistic that is like even in a religious sense i don't know many people who are religious who do that like in a religious sense even i don't know very many religious people who actually abstain like i've heard more christians talk about what they get off to than normal people so I don't know how applicable it is, like in the new age, especially with the internet and everything like that. I kind of want to mention it though, because I'm really like unbiased in either capacity, but I think there's an easy way that like people can kind of like go again from like one extreme to the other when it comes to like jerking off basically. That masturbation isn't a solution to the problem. Once becomes weekly, becomes daily. It doesn't leave you satisfied for long and leaves you in a state of guilt and shame. Friend, God's design is so much better. How can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word? With all my heart I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Saturate your life with scripture. Confess quickly when you fail. Don't stay in that place of guilt or shame. Through Christ you can find victory. So like, I kind of can agree with the guy in that capacity when it comes to like one day a week becomes, you know, three days a week becomes every day becomes all day every day, especially if it's like, you know, you, you just hang out at home or something like that. And it doesn't really bring a solution. And also, yes, like masturbation, I think for most people can bring guilt and shame. Also, depending on what you're watching when you're getting off, I'm just saying, I think a lot more people suffer from guilt and shame when they don't just jerk it, but they're jerking it to something weird. Like, am I stupid about that? Because I feel like most people are like incredibly perverse and they just watch really screwed up stuff. And that's another reason why they find themselves potentially bathed in guilt and shame post nut. Or another thing they do is they find that that guilt and shame perpetuates them to then kind of turn into the sexual liberation sphere where they're like, oh, I shouldn't feel guilty or shameful ever. And it's just me like expressing my body and being sexually liberated and all that stuff. So there's that too. So it's either gonna create one extreme or the other where you beat yourself up or you feel constantly sinful and shameful regarding your uncontrollable urges. You know, it's pretty forgiving with Christianity at times, like unless you're in a really extreme position, all the time it's like, yeah, it's a sin, you sinned, but you know, you'll be forgiven, just repent, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm not trying to like belittle the religion. I'm just saying like, it's not one of those zero to a hundred things where now you're going to hell because you jerked off. But then you've got that. And then you've also got people who are like, no, screw God. I can jerk off whenever I want and I'm gonna do it all the time. And that's gonna be my outlet for pleasure or whatever, because I'm lonely or whatever the case is. And it's sexual liberation and I can watch whatever I want when I get off and it doesn't matter. And this is what creates like two incredibly odd situations for individuals. When in reality, from my perspective, the best option is to not do it with any level of excess at least. Personally, I think it's better to not do it because you can do other things with your day that are much more effective. But I don't feel like people should feel like they can never do it. It's very weird. Like, I'm not trying to be an advocate for either. Because when I look at this, I'm like, well, do your thing. But probably don't look at anything weird online when you're doing it. Don't look at anything weird online when you're doing it because it's going to screw up your head. That's my biggest concern is actually what people watch online when they're getting off. Not even the idea of getting off. Whether it's with you or somebody else. Whatever you're watching online, I think is what creates the biggest issue here. Because nobody ever watches anything normal. I never see anybody even talking about, like, the pizza guy comes to the girl's house to clean her pipes because he's also a handyman. No, no. Instead, it's like furry tentacle hentai porn with like underage girls and whatever else and like horses 
And, you know, Vosh told me that he likes to watch this, so I also watch it or something. Like, crazy shit like that. Because instead of it just being you relieving yourself physically, you're also damning yourself psychologically, not just with guilt and shame, but also with the contents that you're watching. And that long term can screw up your perception of what is sexually, like, desirable. And yeah, I think that's the biggest issue that I have with this. It's not even people jerking off or not. But then it's very interesting because is the real question then to abstain? Because I personally think that I would rather abstain than, say, get off to something weird online. So it's the better thing to never get off. And I feel like, depending on the sex drive of the individual, maybe the best thing is to never get off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that this would be a good topic to talk about. I'm basically just advocating for being an incel. So I'm just saying, like, I don't know what people should do. I don't really care if people want to do it or not. I think there's a middle ground where people should not, like, excessively jerk off and or people should not be fearful of sinning if they do jerk off. But the one thing I have an issue with is the content that people are watching that they get off to. I think that's my biggest concern. I don't know. That's my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you guys think jacking it should be good no matter what all the time? Do you guys think there's a healthy middle ground? Have any of you guys ever had an addiction to, um, you know, indecent materials online? Or have you ever had an addiction to getting off? So yeah, that's the video. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below and what's your perspective on this? Should you jack it or not jack it or just a little bit, but depending on what you watch online, do you think watching things online doesn't matter as long as it's legal? Do you think that people should actually be more considered about what they watch online and what they get off to online because it can screw up their perceptions of reality? What do you guys think? Because personally, I'm, I'm a little on the fence. I don't really care if people do it or not. But I do think that what people watch online really affects them negatively a lot of the time because it's so unrealistic and it builds a really unhealthy perception of what sexual things are. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Anyways, that was the video. Tell me what you think in the comments below, my people, and I will see you all next time. It has been lovely. Slater.